Hello everyone, this is Ahmed and welcome to another anatomy tutorial. In our anatomy tutorial today, we are going to be talking about the muscles of the elbow joint, but at the same time we may mention some other muscles in this region. And uh, this one here, the supraspinous muscle, the infraspinous muscle, this one is the acromial part of the deltoid muscle, the scapular part of the deltoid muscle, from the caudal border of the scapula, here we can see the long head of the triceps brachii inserts on the olecranon tuberosity. Here we can see the lateral head of the triceps brachii, this muscle here. originate or arises from the tricipital line of the humerus lateral proximal surface of the humerus and inserts on the caudolateral aspect of the olecranon under the lateral head here we can see the superficial branch of the radial nerve And now let's look at some other muscles. We can see here, this one here is the cladobrachial muscle, cladobrachial muscle. This one is the deep pectoral muscle. The latissimus dorsi. And the teres major muscle. This is the brachial muscle. The brachial muscle or brachialis muscle arises from the caudal surface of the neck of the humerus and inserts on a rough area situated distomedially to the radial tuberosity. Here from the supraglenoid tubercle we can see the biceps brachii muscle. This muscle has two parts in the camel, which we can see later. In this tutorial. As you know, this muscle originates from the supraglenoid tubercle. The tendon of this muscle runs between the greater and the lesser tubercle of the humerus inside the intertubercular groove or by occipital groove and inserts to the medial collateral ligament. Uh, to the condyle of the humerus and to the radial tuberosity. And now let's move to the medial side of the forelimb where we can see the subscapular muscle, the supraspinous muscle, the teres major muscle. This is the latissimus dorsi. Here we can see the coracobrachian muscle innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve. The musculocutaneous nerve is one uh, of the nerves from the brachial plexus innervated the coracobrachial muscle and the biceps brachii muscle. Here we can see the long head of the triceps brachii from the clouded border of the scapula inserts on the olecranon. Here, under this fascia, we can see the median head of the triceps brachii, which inserts also on the olecranon tuberosity. As we mentioned before, the biceps brachii muscle originates from the supraglenoid tubercle. Let's move the deep background muscle. Here we can see the tendon of the biceps brachii, as we say it originates from the supraglenoid tubercle. This is a lateral view of the forelimb after we removed most of the superficial muscles, uh, including the supra and infraspinous muscle. We removed also the deltoid muscle. We removed uh, the lateral head of the triceps brachii. Here we can see the long head of the triceps brachii. This is the brachialis muscle. 
This muscle is a flexor of the elbow joint, arises from the caudal surface of the neck of the humerus and inserts on a rough area situated distomedially to the radial tuberosity. After we removed all of these muscles, we can see the biceps brachii muscle originate from the superlinoid tubercle. Here the tendon, this is the muscle, uh, as we mentioned before, this muscle in the camel has two parts, uh, 